In this video tutorial, we will learn how to perform a setup dependent lookup in RAD System Studio 8.5.9. For this example, we are going to do it with the Nodes and Prime Evview Generator. Remember that they have several back end and front end language generators available. We create the project. With the name we choose and we choose the database, this project will be available. With all the examples that we implement in this and other tutorials, we proceed to create in the administrator. The tables and fields that we will use in this example. We create the country table and the fields for this table. Now we create the city table and its corresponding fields. We verify the fields we create from our tables. We position ourselves in add mode and select the field in which we are going to make the dependency towards the FK field of the related table. Select the select option and in the data source. A box will be displayed with several options in which we can select which one we want to use according to our needs. I briefly show the options and their main characteristics with which you can interact according to your needs. For our example, we will use the data table when displaying. We must choose the table to which we want to make the field dependency relating the field. That makes the relationship. We also see that we have custom fields to add to our dependency. So that in this way, more data is shown in the select of our dependency, we complete and click OK. Within the row properties, we will find more options, such as being able to add a search to the select, add a default value, a start value, edit the row label, whichever is required. Among others that we will detail and use in other tutorials, We save the changes and publish. Our project is running on both backend and frontend correctly. Let's execute. We see that it runs correctly, generally when we add tables. They are automatically added to our menu, but I will show how to add them manually. We add the country and the city to our menu. We run our application again. Load some example data to see that our dependency field works correctly even with the search in the select and additional data that we added such as the description and photo of the country.
when we opened our city table. We see that the country dependency is working correctly and that it also has a search. And additional data such as the description and photo, we added data from examples in the city. The dependency works correctly, but now in our grid we see the ID of our dependency field. How do we show the label? Let's change this. The first thing is to position ourselves in list mode. Then in the page properties, add join tables. Here we must choose the table in which you want to bring the data in which it shows the ID, in our case it is country. As you will see in the options, you can do different types of joins. We will use inner join. Now we will see that all the fields of the table, in which we make the dependency have been added country. We will leave only the fields that we want to show in our city grid. At the end, we run our project again to see the changes. Perfect. We have the country label in our grid and it no longer shows the ID, as well as our dependency on the form working correctly. I hope it helps you. We will meet in future tutorials to continue learning RAD systems together.